you're playing fantasy piece by Robert Schumann. And this is my company's Mark Shane. I mean, under the intonation, when I see this piece, I already just start to write 
throat tones are going to be sharp. And I had to erase it because your throat tones are really well played in pitch. Are you doing some finger shading or are you just kind of jog down or are you playing in a different way? No, on some of these, uh, just on some of the open, you know, the stay sharps and that. Do you do any kind of finger shading? Do you add some fingers to that or no? Okay. Well, you're controlling the pitch really well through there. It's very nice. Um, your, your, the positives is that you have um, a wonderful tone. And if, if I had to pick just one positive, that would be it. Because without a good tone, you know, nothing else really sells much of a message. So, that, so good for you for developing that. Um, I, I would, I think I would rather have um, someone like yourself that's maybe, there's just that little bit of a little fuzziness to the read or of the sound. And it's probably because you're challenging yourself with maybe a harder setup. You know what I mean? Like if the read's just a little bit harder, you're working at it a little bit harder. There's still a good nucleus of sound. There was just a little periphery of air. That's not too bad. Um, it's better than being too soft and light, you know. Um, I noticed you have your ligature pretty high on the reed. Is that where you normally have it? Uh, yeah. Do you ever experiment with different heights on it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think you think you just get to the best outcome here? Yeah. So far, it looks good. Okay. All right. So you're making intentional choices then. I know that's gonna have a little impact on the on, on how on how strong on the read performs or on, on, on the overall quality of it. Um, the musicality on this, if if we're starting at a hundred percent, saying everything was played perfectly, and then for anything that was just kind of taking away from perfection, if there is a couple of little things that's like um, that would just take me out of a dream state, and I'm thinking. That's right. Okay, I'm at a solo ensemble concert. Oh, that's right. He's a high school kid. You know what I mean? <laughs> so if we're starting at 100%, and then if there is something that kind of woke me up and go, oh, that's right. All right, here we're just listening to a to a you know, high school. It would be the last notes of phrases are not being held full value. And what a simple thing for me to pick on, but yet that's really significant because look at all of these moments that you have to play a long note followed by silence, a long note followed by silence. And I think you might have just started playing it a certain way and it became normal to you. And so every time we would have these notes here, you would stop them early. If those notes, if those rests were notes, we wouldn't tongue the note too soon, right? We would wait until B2 to tongue that rest. So sometimes what helps is to tongue the rest. So let's do one of those, just so you know what I mean by that. Um, we'll just start some random place. How about da di da 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 di da di da da just tongue another B on the rest, okay? Let's start here on that C sharp. I know it seems weird, but that's that's how long that B is supposed to last. It lasts until the rest. And so consistently throughout, you, you would kind of get me going. It's like, all right, here's that 100%. Oh, we didn't hold that long, last note long enough. Oh, darn, there it is again. Oh, now he's got me going. Now it's 100%. Oh, there's that short note again. So it's just one of those little things, and once you do it once, then it's on my mind, and it's like, oh, he's gonna do it again, he's gonna do it again. So as a performer, you wanna make sure that you're always at that 100%. Okay, one other real quick thing. Um, on a series of quarter notes, you do, this isn't really a right or wrong thing, this is maybe something else to try. You tend to make each note a, 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 a beautiful shape by itself. I'll hear it too. Think about playing the line as a beautiful shape instead of each individual note as a beautiful shape. Do you know what I mean by that? Let's just try that random place right there with those chord notes ascending. shape is more satisfying because there's just one shape to keep track of as opposed to several in a row. They're all pretty and great tones and everything and well played in pitch, but there's okay. just too many things to keep on. So just think about one that hill long. Hill. Four, four, four. I should have said it like that. I gotta remember that. One hill instead of four. <laughs> that's right. But that's the right idea. Okay. Nice job. Off you go.